Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to another episode of Hicktown Custom. Today is Stud Welder Day. I'm going to show you how to use that and I'm going to do it right now. So, on Hicktown Custom, we work on vehicles, or we work on Jerome right now, which is my truck. And we may not always have the right tools. You don't have to have the right tools all the time. To get a good outcome on this one I did a video where I did some hammer and dolly work of course you can tell it ain't all that great but this was all caved in first and I got in from the backside to beat out with a hammer so now I want to get these low spots out with that stud welder so how do you do that well first you got to get this to the bare metal because that stud welder won't work unless this is bare metal you got to have a good ground and first thing you need to unhook the battery cable to your truck or car or whatever you're working on so these stud welders you can buy them at harbor freight you can buy them at uh, chicago electric you can buy them probably at walmart amazon wherever you want to they're not that expensive even though i don't have one borrowed this from Josephus, one of my buddies, and it comes with this stud welder, it comes with a slide hammer, and it comes with the brass studs. So, we're going to use a pneumatic, uh-oh, a pneumatic grinder to get this uh, paint off. Let's do that. I don't have my safety glasses, but I got my little uh, reading glasses, so that's good. Luck. Won't have to be always bare metal. way the bare metal several different ways you can use a bondo buster with 80 grit you can use any kind of little handy dandy sander you got and you can use 180 grit another 180 grit and we'll probably use that here in just a minute to kind of fine tune this sanding but right now I'm doing it pretty fast with this so I can limit my uh, video time <laughs> because I don't have the right primers to cover this, but I do have a material to cover it so it won't rust. getting it close enough to where I can start doing body work and painting it. It's not going to be red no more, it's going to be blue. Yeah. 
that's enough with that one. We're going to plug this thing up. Like I said, you ain't got to have the right tools for everything. Like, for instance, this sander is not for auto body. It's for wood. And it's got the hook loop system on it. But all this is hooked. No loop. And, of course, my sandpaper is hooked. No loop. So I'm taking this intermediate pad, which is a red scuff, tray, scuff right, and it's got the loop look, and you can put the loop look on there, and it's pretty, pretty well, and you can put it like that, and you got a good sander. So watch this, guys. Put it on there, turn it on. <laughs> thing done so you can do different things to uh, achieve the same outcome you know look there I don't even have a rag I got a, a shirt there we go so now I'm gonna take the stud weld I'm gonna put me a couple studs right there in the center of that dent and then I'm gonna use my uh, dent tool or my jerker here and I'm going to put it on that stud, and I'm going to use this slide hammer to pull that, hopefully pull that dent out. And also, it's got a pretty good crown around it. You can put it on there, pull it out, take your body hammer and tap that crown down, and everything will be good. So you grab your stud welder, put your stud down inside that tip, and when you push, you're going to push, more and plug it, I doubt it'll shock me, but... Who knows? Well, anyway, so you push it down, and when this grounds the metal, and you pull the trigger, it's going to weld this stud to the panel. Watch this, guys. It's amazing. Whoever made the stud welder is a genius. If it'll work. I tried it yesterday at work, so there we go. I'm going to put it right in the center of that dent, push down on it, uh oh, oh I heard it, look at there, boom, so I'm going to try to put it, let's see, it's right in the center, be careful because this tip's hot, I'll we'll put another one, let's see here, right there, and you can hear it, look at there, good also to have a pair of dots when you get done with that uh, you cut it and it comes right off so this uh, thing's got a wheel on it when you put this stud in here it goes under that wheel and when you pull against it the wheel clamps down pretty good we'll put it on there Got some magic happening, guys. Heck yeah. Put on this other one. Tighten it down. Get that damn handle thing off. much pulled it out all right so i'm gonna cut this one off because now it's in my way 
So you, you can grab it real good and kind of twist it a little bit. It comes right off. Leaves a nice, if you do it right, you don't have to hardly do any grinding. But we're still going to grind it. I'm going to put this on here. Tighten it down. And I'm going to pull it. And I'm going to tap on these ridges. better than it would. Oh yeah. Wish I'd done this sooner. Of course. Yeah. Can't get it off all the time. There we go. Well, of course. There we go. Just knock that stud in there, it comes right out. Let's try this back then. That's pretty good. If I do say so myself, Country Cuss. And you can look down the side and you can catch the sunlight coming in and you can really see that I did good on that dent. So hardly any filling now, thank goodness. I'm gonna put a couple more studs on this back dent here. Now, I tried to do this video early, guys, because it's already hot here in Alabama. Uh, had to braid my hair today, kind of like Willie Nelson. And it's still hot. Think about cutting this hair, guys. So, all right. So, you feel with your mind's eye and your hands. And more of the dents right there. So, I'm going to put a couple studs right there. one there and I appreciate it Joe for letting me borrow this stud welder you're a true gentleman and a pretty good friend all right I'm gonna take my little dent jerker put it on there make sure you don't put your fingers on this slide hammer because when you pull that slide back this thing weighs a pretty good bit It'll smash your finger, and it'll hurt. Oh, I'm doing good. Doing good, doing good. Got a little old canny kind of stuff going on, so we're going to tap it down. Hopefully knock some of that old canny out of it. Oil cans where it kind of you push it and it kind of goes in or you can pull it and it'll go out We don't want it going in and out kind of like this up here. You can't push it because it don't have that oil can feel to it the Reason I hadn't done this Earlier is because well I didn't have a stud welder. That's pretty good. That's good Anyway, grab the dots Put it on there, grip it, twist it. Of course, this ain't coming off as easy as your mother once did. Still got kind of a little oil candy feel to it. See how it comes in and out. Might need to get a shrinking hammer. Might need to uh, do a little research. I can do body work. I don't know everything about body work. Because in the hot rod industry, you don't really do body work. You're kind of a sculptor. You sculpt. So, you know, I would put, what, about an inch, two inches of mud right here if this was a hot rod to fix this dent. Because if you work in a shop and you don't have a good fabricator, then cave and pave, baby. So I'm going to grind these spots. <laughs> Too bad. I'm, I'm very pleased with this. 
So now, get your handy dandy sander again. It's nice guys, to, if you're doing a video, make sure you got a table, or even if you're not doing a video, you're just out here working on your truck or on your car, make sure you got a table to put all your junk on, whether it be your beer, your energy drinks, your tools, uh, your son, your daughter, you know, if you're watching the kids or whatever. clean paint gun here hopefully it sprays because I'm not the best on cleaning paint guns out even though I do have a gun cleaning video but we're gonna use lacquer on it try to get this uh, bare metal cover and I happen to have some gray paint from a another furniture job that I did and it's lacquer so you know I can spray just lacquer on here. I can put enamel on here, whatever. But when I get ready to prep Jerome to paint, since there's no mud work under this, I can just take lacquer thin and wipe that crap off. Then do my mud work, then put real primer on it, epoxy, whatever. So that's what I'm gonna do. So we don't have any tape. And I don't really wanna get paint on my tail light here. So we're gonna cover it with a little bit of sandpaper. And let's see, I got another piece of sandpaper somewhere. Maybe not. I don't know, I got this. This is worth this old towel I got out here on my trailer. Put it right there. That works. Perfect. Well, maybe not. Anyway, if I get paint on it, then I'll wipe it off with lacquer too. I'll probably replace those eventually. As long as I don't get on the light, and if I'm a good cleaner, then I won't get on the light. No need to strain this or anything. It's not like it's going to be a huge paint job or nothing. You're just wanting to cover that bare metal. Wipe it off with your spare towel. Blow it dry. Oh, look, it does work. Push it down a little bit. Make sure you got the product coming out. Look at that. And cover it. And this is gray, so people ain't gonna know that it's not primer. And it dries quick. So there you go. You blow it dry a little air. All we're doing with this, guys, is keeping this from rusting until I'm ready to paint it. And there you go. That's how you do it. So, I'm not going to bore you with all the uh, thumbs up and subscribe stuff. If you're a mechanic or a shade tree mechanic, shade tree body guy, then you know, if you like stuff like this, then you know, give me a thumbs up or whatever. Uh, and I'm not sponsored by anybody. I'm not sponsored by Sherwin Williams, even though I use their product on my furniture. I'm not, I mean, no one buys this stuff. It's just stuff I've got laying around the house. So. That's it, guys. And it ain't that bad. I mean, I, like I said, I'm no body man. But I got it a whole lot better than it was. I could actually put body work on this, do a little bit of shaping, which is going to be the next video. So stay tuned. Thanks, guys.